How's it going guys? It's Cam here. We're finally tackling the rest of the head unit disassembly here. I got some tips on how to loosen the tension on the Pro Charger. Turns out it's a lot more simple than I thought it was, which that's why I figured I was overthinking it. So let's go ahead and get going on that. All right. So I think we've got the tensioner figured out, boys. Taken a while, but look at that. Oh yeah, there we go. Almost enough to take this guy right off of it. We'll keep turning it, but that's good. Tension's off. It's really simple actually, but like, I don't know. I ended up overthinking it a lot. So, you know, it is what it is. We finally get this thing sent off soon though. So that's good. Oh yeah, there it is. Let's get that built off now. Oh, I'll just tad bit more. All right, yeah, there we go. Yes. All right, we can get this bad boy off of there now. Uh, this belt we'll just kind of throw over here. Cool. So if you guys don't actually know how to do this, let me go ahead and break it down for you right now. Basically what you do is you loosen this a little bit, loosen the back of this tensioner a little bit as well too. And then the key is you take your half inch drive right here, or well, whatever drive you want to use, but a half inch socket, and then you're just gonna loosen this right here. It's only probably like five, 10 turns. And then you tighten this guy all the way down, let that bolt come out, and boom, you got tension. I don't understand how that worked at all, but it's off now. Now we can get the head unit off and we can get it shipped off. Dope. As you can see here, we got the belt and everything off there. It's still on that pulley down there. That's gonna be a pain in the butt to put back on later. But anyways, I broke all the bolts around the head unit. Now it's just a simple, by the way, I, oh fuck. I hate using Allen keys for this kind of stuff. I just feel like I'm gonna strip everything. I, I bet a lot of you guys can understand here. This was the worst bolt right here out of them all, but Anyways, I'm going to finish disassembling the rest of this uh, charger off and then uh, we'll go over where we're sending the pro charger. Char you can do so. You, you do, you can. And then I'll go over where I'm sending the pro charger off to and about how long it's going to take for it to come back to us. Before I went ahead and took this off, uh, I did a little experiment. I tried turning the, uh, the pulley last time when the belt was on there. I'm stupid. Don't ignore that. But anyways, now it turns freely. And if you notice, <laughs> compressor wheels are not spinning at all. Let me see if I can see anything in there. No, yeah. <laughs> so that's sheared off. Hopefully the gear set's all right and everything, but that, that definitely needs to be replaced. Hey, listen to this. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Just totally middle <laughs> moving around inside there. Oh, hey, hey. get me in the thing here for the thumbnail. All right, boys, there she is, all nice and off. Here we get a real good idea of all the carnage in here. I was looking in there too. Can't necessarily see anything, but I see some middle that's shred. And I hope you guys really heard those middle sounds earlier. That was pretty funny listening to all that. She looks nice and pretty sitting there though. Here's a idea how big it is with my hand here. And then if you look towards the back of the charger here too, as I was pointing out, there's actually like a lot of oil at the bottom here. And there's just like other residue too. So I think this thing was also due for some seals here soon too. Yeah, look at that right there. Super moist right there. Yeah, this was definitely due for some seals here soon too. Uh, so I guess, I guess it's not too bad. But anyways, that's off. We'll get this guy shipped off and uh, we'll be good from there. Oh, what a sad state you are in. Poor baby. Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. All right. Well, I appreciate you guys tuning in to today's update video. 
I know you guys enjoy the Mustang Pro Charger content a lot more than the other stuff I release, so I'm gonna try to keep that up as much as possible. Obviously, it's a lot harder when the car is broken, but I may or may not have some more update videos or a video go out when the charger is actually shipped. What's up, guys? It's Cam here. I'm not doing the typical YouTube thing where I can make this, you know, two videos. I guess it's kind of bad on me as a YouTuber. But anyways, I wanted to go over a couple things with the shipping and where the supercharger is going off to. Um, so I actually just got it sent out today. It's about uh, seven or eight days after making the uh, first initial video and getting the Pro Charger off of it. Um, it's going to Iowa. It's going to John Bond Performance uh, to get that Pro Charger rebuilt. Um, turnaround is supposed to be around five days. Um, they're going to try to get it done as fast as possible. You know, it's a shop. Um, sometimes they take their sweet time, but you know, we'll see. I'm not necessarily in a rush. Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> it sucks not being able to drive any fast cars for a while uh, like I haven't been, but hopefully it gets back to us soon enough. Uh, I might supply another update. I probably won't, but uh, you guys will probably get a new Mustang video once the supercharger is back with us. I also wanted to say a quick thank you to you guys. We'll probably hit 2K subscribers um, before I upload my next video. I believe we're at like uh, 1900 and some change right now. But thanks a lot for that. In the future here, hopefully we can get some uh, giveaways going here. Um, you know, obviously I'm a small channel as it is right now. But uh, maybe for 2,500 subscribers, I was thinking something. Um, and then maybe something at 5K, 10K, something on like that. I don't know. I got to put a little more thought into it. Um, but maybe... Uh, Drop some suggestions. Maybe I do like a really limited uh, merch drop or something for 2K or 2,500 for a giveaway. So uh, we'll see. Yeah. Thanks for stopping by again. Thanks for leaving a like on the video. If you didn't know, that's one of the best ways you can help me out as a creator because it will suggest this video to other people. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'm out for now.